It doesn't matter who you are or what you look like, so long as somebody loves you. A person who has good thoughts cannot ever be ugly. You can have a wonky nose, a crooked mouth, a double chin, and a stick out teeth. But if you have good thoughts, it will shine out of your face like sunbeams, and you will always look lovely. Two rights don't equal a left. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest men. Having power is not nearly as important as what you choose to do with it. Because we are all great deal luckier than we realize, we usually get what we want or near enough. If a person has ugly thoughts, it begins to show on the face. And when that person has ugly thoughts every day, every week, every year, the face gets uglier and uglier until you can hardly bear to look at it. Never do anything by halves if you want to get away with it. Be outrageous. Go to the whole hog. Make sure everything you do is so completely crazy, it's unbelievable. The very rich are enormously resentful of bad weather. It is the one discomfort that their money cannot do anything about. I've also learned that a real mouth smile always has an eye smile to go with it. A mouth smile is different. You can fake a mouth smile anytime you want, simply by moving your lips. If there's someone over there that needs a helping hand, then it's our job to give it. Books shouldn't be daunting. They should be funny, exciting, and wonderful. And learning to be a reader gives a terrific advantage. I understand what you're saying, and your comments are valuable, but I'm gonna ignore your advice. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. I want a good, sensible, loving child, one to whom I can tell all my precious candy-making secrets while I am still alive. Any courage I had was knocked out of me when I was young, but now all of a sudden, I have a sort of desperate wish to tell everything to somebody. When you're old enough to write a book for children, by then you'll have become a grown-up and have lost all your jokiness. You should never, never doubt something that no one is sure of. Human beings are the only animals that are killing their own kind. A stodgy parent is no fun at all. What a child wants and deserves is a parent who is sparky. The giant peach with the sunlight glinting on its side was like a massive golden ball sailing upon the silver sea. A little magic can take you a long way. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Dreams is full of mystery and magic. Do not try to understand them. Just because we happen not to have actually seen something with our own two little winkles, we think it is not existing. Somewhere inside all of us is the power to change the world. So shines a good deed in a weary world. However small the chance might be of striking lucky, the chance was there. 
my dear young fellow, there are a whole lot of things in this world of ours you haven't started wondering about yet. I was already beginning to realize that the only way to conduct oneself in a situation where bombs rained down and bullets whizzed past was to accept the dangers and all the consequences as calmly as possible. I think the reason I don't want to die is because of the things I hope will happen. There are others, though there are not many, who will for some reason always be unconquerable. Nowadays, you can go anywhere in the world in a few hours, and nothing is fabulous anymore. It's a funny thing about mothers and fathers, even when their own child is the most disgusting little blister you could ever imagine. They still think that he or she is wonderful. I cannot for the life of me understand why small children take so long to grow up. You'll never get anywhere if you go about what a thing like that. The more risks you allow children to make, the better they learn to take care of themselves. If you are interested in something, no matter what it is, go at it full speed ahead. If only they would read a little Dickens or Kipling, they would soon discover there was more to life than cheating people and watching television. An autobiography is a book a person writes about his own life, and it is usually full of all sorts of boring details. If you're gonna get anywhere in life, you have to read a lot of books. All the reading she had done had given her a view of life that they had never seen. A life is made up of a great number of small incidents and a small number of great ones. The books transported her into new worlds and introduced her to amazing people who lived exciting lives.